What's going on guys when I band it back again with yet another video and is it hard for anybody else to even open up fighters right now like for me it's just super hard to open this game up right now but I just really 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 wanted to put out a video today and so I got to thinking what should I do because all that's on everybody's mind is Dragon Ball Fighters season 3 season 3 is looking to be so hype and it's just like that's just all you can really talk about when it comes to this game right now because everything season two related is out the window like there's no point in like <laughs> there's no point in learning new tech right now because obviously because uh, obviously we don't know what will happen in season three for your for your characters every character is getting three different assists so there will be so much to practice within fighter season three so Doing anything in season two is just pure pure nostalgia at this point. Like, go ahead and fuzzy people for the last two weeks. Go ahead and you know maybe maybe they're nerf nerfing raw tag or something like that. And who knows? Raw tag people for the last time these two weeks, or do what I'm doing and take a break. But what I wanted to talk about is the top five characters that I believe will shoot up the tier list because they are getting brand new assist because I feel like assist do play a large factor in how good a character is like if like let's say Krillin for instance who is on this list let's let's say Krillin for instance right um, he has rocks so Krillin has always been on the bottom of the tier list and it's mainly because of those rocks man like you can play him point and do okay with him but the minute you switch him out it's almost like playing with just two characters you've already killed off one of your characters because of his rocks they're just so pointless but with the addition of two new assists to himself which will most likely be solar flare which is going to be disgusting i just know it and as well as a new beam this allows for so many more opportunities now people can drop super saiyan goku and who knows maybe so many people wanted to play krillin but the rocks are just getting in the way so they decide all right i'm done with goku let's explore krillin now or you know characters like freaking yamcha whose assist is already godlike who also now gets a beam um characters like blue vegeta whose big bang attack everybody thinks is trash this changes because you know he gets his kicks or like maybe one of his normals like there's just so many more opportunities and so now i want to talk about the top five characters i believe will get a a rise in the tier list and let's start with my number one who is definitely krillin krillin is just like i said he's been at the bottom of the tier list for too damn long like my guy has been faithful to dragon ball for so long and the fact that they did him so dirty by giving him rocks the fact that they're not taking it out completely is actually pretty funny the fact that they're leaving him with the rocks is still an assist is just it's just funny but you just know nobody is going to use those so it's just it, it's kind of weird like they didn't really factor in like what assist will be used and what assist won't be used after doing this um but i definitely think krillin will rise in the tier list because he's been he's just been so trash for so long i think he has great mix-up you know the after image technique is amazing in itself right like it, you can mash out of it yes you can down heavy it if you guess if they are going to actually hit you or not but most of the time the pump fake that you get from this move is just is really ridiculous and you know we're not just getting those assists we are most likely getting actual buffs to so many characters as well so it's just it's it's crazy like this character is going to be nice like i can feel it he's going to definitely rise in tier into the tier list and i think we might see a little bit more krillin um than normal um so yeah krillin for top tier let's go um my number two is most likely going to be beerus I, I like Beerus a lot, right? But his assist, like I've played him on and off, and his assist I never liked because there you can you can get some stuff with it, but there's not too much synergy with it. Um, <clears throat> maybe he'll end up with like a blue Goku type assist, but it'll give you a bounce hopefully with his like downward 
hand thing, like, you know, the, the face smash. Um, I, I really enjoy that move in itself already, so um, maybe he'll get that. We don't know what else he'll get, but we, like, well, we do know he gets his DP and then a follow-up. Um, a lot of you have pointed out to me that there is, like, this gold ring around certain assists, so there's literally probably going to be a whole new assist mechanic, so that's something else we have to look out for. Um, it kind of looks like it teleports people like your assist straight to the opponent So this is something else that we have to look out for this assist is going to be super super god Or hopefully one of his assists is going to be super super godlike And I hope he gets the buff that he deserves because he's the god of destruction after all he needs He needs something else other than the trash assist to me that he has um, number three I have my boy Blue Vegeta. Blue Vegeta, I've been playing on and off for so long, but every time I drop him, it's because I realize that the Big Bang attack is so trash. Blue Vegeta, has, he's fallen to the bottom of the tier list for me personally because um, I just feel like he could be better, but they just kind of, like, to me, they made him worse within Season 2. Um, it's weird, but the fact that he can, like, get his kicks and he'll have pressure, and it'll be similar to, like, Yamcha's assist. So, like, it'll be maybe a good lockdown assist depending on which um, which kick assist they give him. Uh, hopefully, they make the Big Bang attack faster other than just, you know, riding it off, essentially, because nobody's going to use the Big Bang attack if they don't buff it. But I definitely feel like Vegeta, Blue Vegeta, deserves to be a little bit higher like at least be as good as blue goku because this character i just like i he would be on my team my original team is blue vegeta bardock and freaking goku black that's my original team like the minute bardock like came into this game that was my team and that was gonna be my team but blue vegeta just started to be so trash same thing with rose he just started to not live up to the character like he just couldn't he's just not as good as super saiyan goku right so that's that's the reason i don't play that team anymore but i definitely would like to see a comeback for this team of mine because blue vegeta is getting a new assist and i can't wait for it which also leads me to my number four who is blue goku blue goku is like he's so close to being super top tier not super top tier but like very very solid um, if you play him, you're most likely playing him on point because his assist is just so just it just ends everything Like sometimes you can combo off of it But the fact that it just is straight up face plants the enemy into the ground and leaving them in a terrible state Like like you can do nothing after it. It just makes it to where it's hard to build synergy around the character Like you have to build the your team around blue Goku not the other way around you don't you, you do all your combos based off of Blue Goku. You don't do combos based off of everybody on the team. There's not pure synergy there. Everything's based on Blue Goku. And that's why him getting his shoulder bash and maybe his even his teleport as an assist, these are things that are going to make him way better in the long run. And he's going to shoot up the tier list. That's just my thoughts in general. I could definitely make this list a bit, little bit longer, but... I just want this to be a top five because it, it, it proves that all, all a character needs is just a little bit of tweaking and they can be just ridiculous. And that leads me to Tien, who I believe was one of the most basic characters within this game, right? Tien, he's just so straightforward. And I love I loved his Dodon Ray assist. Like, it's, it's pretty decent. Like, you know, it pops the enemy up into the air, but it doesn't have that, again, pure synergy that you need for anything really so with the addition of you know we know he's getting chaozu assist it's going to be really really good i i think people might be sleeping on how good the chaozu assist might be it's going to be another go tank style assist or even another kid boo style assist where it's just going to purely knock down that enemy like let's say you can the, the synergy will be up in the sky as well too like like so many people use Gogeta and Gotenks together because Gotenks can, you know, lead Gogeta or even Janimba to more combo routes within the air. And I think Chaozu will be able to do that as well. And that is going to increase damage so much. Tien already outputs so much damage, like especially if you DHC into his level 3. It's going to be super, super gross. So I think we are going to have a hard time with a lot of Tien Chaozu assists 
on our hands. And yeah, that's basically my top five. Um, I think these characters are going to shoot up the tier list because of these assists. Um, they're they're just going to be great, man. I mean, there's already characters who are they have great assist already. And I mean, the fact that they do have good assist, that's the reason I didn't quite put them up there. Um, no, honorable mentions are characters like 18, calling 17 for an assist. <laughs> it might be crazy. Like, and that's the thing. We don't know exactly what, who's getting what. We know maybe one thing from a couple of characters. Like, we know Ginyu is going to get Jace. But the fact that people won't be using or might not be using 18's barrier anymore is going to be crazy. We know Frieza's assist is trash, kind to me at least. It's like a, it's like a Walmart ver or, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's like a, I don't even know, off-brand version of Trunks's assist, right? So like we, we know that he's getting his like little orb, and that's gonna be gross. Janimba finally gets to get rid of his little key blasts, right? Those those key blasts are terrible. They're terrible. So, you know, his sword slash is going to be pretty good for neutral, in my opinion, neutral on the ground. Um, DBS Broly might rise in the ranks because he gets, he'll, he'll most likely get his, uh, his orb that flies up and it'll be similar to GT Goku's assist and it'll help lock down the sky. Android 17, possibly his Rekka's in some shape or form. Vegito can be really good. It can be another um, Yamcha assist with literally they could turn just his light button into an assist. Um, there are so many characters who already have good assists, but they'll be even better because of those assists. So that's why I just put out, you know, characters that they have their assists are either really bad, decent, or just unusable like Krillin. And that automatically shoots them up into the tier list. So Basically, I want to know what you guys think about that. Do you think that these characters, these five top, these five characters that I put out, do you think they'll shoot up the tier list or do you think they'll stay the same? Who are your top five characters you think will shoot up within the tier list within season three purely because their assist is better now because they will get a better assist? Just just let me know that down in the comment section below. Hit is going to be crazy, too, as well. Like his assist, it's it's. It's a little weird because he's gonna get his like like whatever that thing is like it just it's a lockdown it's gonna be another lockdown assist essentially like and I think it's just so good that we're gonna get so much more variety in this game man the, season three is looking to be insane of course again we don't know exactly what we're going to get but what we do get I'm excited for regardless like I'm so excited to lab everything like I said I, it's just so hard for me to even load up this game. <coughs> Like I said, it's just so hard for me to even load up this game right now because I know everything is going to be different. Even the UI. Like, I'm, I'm tired of looking at this UI right now. Give me the new UI. We have to wait two weeks to get our Season 3. And I'm excited for it. So, But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm done talking about it. Yeah, man. Like, Remember the God and anime are on your side. Please like the video. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, I, I'm pretty much done talking about it. Like, we know these characters, every character is going to get, you know, something crazy in some shape or form. And I'm excited for it. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please remember that God and anime are always on your side. Remember to comment down below which top five characters you think will rise within the tier list because their assist is getting better. And yeah, just let me know that down in the comment section below. Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace out.